Hi, guys. Welcome back to Finding Your Indie. This is Monday Marketing Tips and Tricks, and I'm Bonnie Paulson. And I'm Andy Stevens. And we are here to talk to you about are, are your, your ads, ads working? working? Yeah, are your ads working? Yes. Having a hard day. Tongue twister. <laughs> Oh, so um, what exactly is an ad's job? I think this is a basic question, but I think not enough people understand it. Um, they think that it's to sell the books and that's not their job. We've talked about this in another video, but let's just clarify from the get-go. An ad's job is to get a reader or a customer or a viewer from landing, po you know, from point A to point B. That can be, point A can be Facebook. It can be a newsletter. It can be... Um, gosh, just an AMS, if you're like targeting on Amazon, right? With your AMS ads, like getting them from this point over to your book, an ad can be you're scrolling Google and you see an ad, like an ad can literally be anything. TikTok has ads for crying out loud. There's all kinds, even you even have them in your email first. I mean, they're everywhere, right? Like ads are everywhere. And the goal is to snag the attention. That's what an ad's job is, is to, is to snag your attention and get you from point A to point B. After that, it's not that there's nothing else after that. Yeah. That That's not their job is not to convert crap. Their job is to literally get you from point A to point B. Yeah. So what metrics prove your ad is working on the ad side? Great question. Uh, the metrics that we like to use, very simple. Look, look at our video about are you overanalyzing the data? And we go into a little bit more, but essentially we look at CPC, we look at CTR, and we look at conversion. Um, the conversion is more of, is it is it going to the correct audience? But the conversion rate is more based on the landing page and the disconnect. But to get there, your CPC tells us what the like how high it is, how low it is. Tells us is it going to the correct audience? Um, does it have the correct image that Facebook wants you to see or that AMS wants you to be you know producing? Are you hitting the correct creatives? Are you like there's a whole bunch of things involved with CPC and CTR is literally your click through rate. It just talks about did enough people who saw it click it. You know, the higher the CTR, the more appealing your ad was. So the main goal is just to get them from Facebook or wherever to your landing page. And then yeah. it's all to you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you can get and a little tip on that, and this might just be like a just a little thing, just a, a tip is if you make sure that your message is clear and they're the same, they're cohesive on your landing page in your ads, you're going to have a much more successful conversion rate than if you to do something wonky over here and some, you know, and then your landing page. If you're going to use blurbs, use the same blurb. If you're testing blurbs, then you'll know which one's doing yeah. the blurb. Right? Yeah. That's, okay. that's different. I like to use the same, same cover, same blurb, same reviews, you know, so yes. it's a mirror. So, you know, it's working. Exactly. Excerpts work, work great too, but I think there's some, there's some other things that you need to do when you use excerpts, but you're, but yeah, the reviews are awesome. Reviews are a great way because it's social proof, right? Like, that's that's a huge deal. And people are like, I love this book. Well, good. I'm going to read it too because you loved it. So. Make sure you take out all those words in your excerpts. <laughs> yeah, all the words. All the words. They don't like cuss words. They don't like no. sexy words. They don't like no, words no. that don't necessarily have to be a cuss word, but they're inappropriate yeah. words. Yeah, there's some words that I'm like, that's not bad. A double. <laughs> a double S? It's or not even... Or H-E double hockey stick. I don't know YouTube. I don't, yeah, I don't know, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. can we stay on here? I don't know. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they don't even like that in an ad. It's crazy. Yeah, you're right. You want to explain the goals for an yeah. ad? Yeah. So the goals of an ad, obviously, is to make money, right? Yeah. Like, that's that's the goal of an ad, is to increase viewers to your page, to your product, and maybe to increase subscribers. But the only reason you're really getting subscribers is to make money. So the goal of it is to make money. But again, that's on the landing page and product quality, how much you actually make, right? Another one would be to increase the return. Again, that's on the product page and the product quality. However, it's the ad's job to make sure people get there. So if you have great ads and a really crappy product, you just did your ads a disservice. Like really, like really you did. You did a really bad disservice for your ads. And that makes me, it makes me sad when I see people go, oh, my ads are failing because you know, it, I'm spending this much and I'm not making this much. And I'm like, okay, let me see. Just give me the, give me your CPC and your CTR and let's look at your landing page. First place we go is landing page. And then we're yeah. like, I know why your ads aren't working. It's not your ad's job to make your product look good. It's your ad's job to bring people here. And they are, and they're, you're delivering them to a, a piling, steaming pile of, you know what? It's just, yeah. 
Well, look at your cover and then look at your blurbs. Yes. Is your blurb really conveying what the book's about? You know, sometimes I read blurbs and I'm like, I have no clue what or this book cover. is about. Or I look at the cover. I'm like, I thought this was a completely different genre. You know, I was and expecting like, sci-fi oh, romance and I got urban fantasy. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Yeah. It just, you know, you're so right. I, you have to be really, really clear. So clear in your ads and then clear on your product page. Yeah. Be clear. There there should be no secrets. I, I guarantee you will have a reader. There's readers out there for everything. Yeah. But if you're trying to appeal to, I don't know, if you're trying to appeal to someone who likes paranormal, but you didn't write paranormal, you wrote a YA coming of age book, you're completely missing the point. You're, It's like targeting a dress to someone who is very adamantly only into pants. You know, yeah. like it's it's just, it doesn't make sense. Um, and also to increase subscribers. Again, that's something that needs to happen on your landing page. But the goal is to help you get viewers there to shift the audience. The whole goal of an ad is to shift the audience from where they're at, so Facebook, and shift them to where the goal is, right? The landing page, the the products, the yeah, money, wherever you're at. Or, yes, or- doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes. The building your newsletter or selling yes. direct or on exactly. Amazon. Exactly. That is all the job is of the ads. But, you know, along with that, Mandy, like, what do you think about, are we giving the ads enough time? Are we giving mm-hmm. them enough time too? Like, there's so much, right? Most people don't want to give their ads enough time, you know, because you, you get excited, you release. Yeah. Like I just had, I started an ad, it was five days ago. Okay. And I was like, yeah. And I'm like, you know, and I'm like, dude, give yourself some time, you know, you know better. But I still, I was like, oh my gosh, you know? Yeah, and it's the anxiety, and it's not just excitement, you're right. It, but it's also the anxiety of, I'm spending cash on this. Yeah. Is it making it back yeah. yet? It, what's yeah. going on? Um, especially if you're trying to wake up on a, like a, a product page or something. Like I've got one in, one that I'm testing right now and I'm trying to do this this test. And so that means it's not the first two weeks, it's the first six weeks I have to let it sit and wake up that product page and wake up and wait for the read through. And it's excruciating because I'm losing money every day and it sucks, but it's it hard. Suck, of it. But yeah, this is a business. I think a lot of authors, you know, it's a hobby, but it's a business. If you yeah, want to make money, you have to invest. Yeah. Whether you're doing it yourself or you hire somebody to do it for you, either way, it's your you right. Know, you yeah. have to be patient. It's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> it is. It's really hard. Um, so you need to make sure that you're giving the ads enough time to one, wake up the activity on that book or series. Like I just said, it's going to take some time. It just is. So buckle up, buttercup. This is what we're doing. Second <laughs> one is, um, are you working with any promotions that you have? Like, are you using them in tandem to bring attention to your series? So, you know, are you, are you working with your promotions? Are you, um, if you have an ad manager or you're running ads yourself or you have a VA that you're working with, are you making sure everyone is aware that there are promotions in play? There are certain things like newsletter swaps happening. You need to make sure that you're aware of what is happening at the same times that your ads are running. Because Yeah, because if you have a sale, you can target your ads for the sale, you know, yes. but, but the sale has to be long enough too. Yes, you're right. Oh, I had a free book on Friday. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you did one day. I can't do anything yeah, for you. You've got anything. nothing. Yeah, I can't do anything for you unless you put, no, it still wouldn't work. Maybe $100 because the learning would be about a, an hour, maybe, maybe half an hour, but then you're just going to the wrong audience because the correct learning wasn't in place. So it's mm-hmm. just like, no. So yes, you're right. A long enough promotion time. Another thing is, is are you giving your ads enough time to give not just your ads, but promotions and whatever to show collect um to collect the read through sell through on the back end. So if you're doing standalones, you should see something fast, right? Because it's a book one. It's the only book that you're doing. It's a harder it's a harder audience to hit, but you can do it. But are you seeing a pickup in the overall brand? Are you seeing a pickup in the back, like book two, book three, book four, in follow up on the book on the box sets? Are people giving that enough time? Because that's where your money's coming from, not just from book one. You, yeah. very rarely do you the make money. Entire series, yeah. Yeah, the entire series. Um, and then did you give it enough time to get through the testing phase? Like, I think a lot of people just are like, I'm jumping into ads and I should be seeing money right now, but you don't know what your audience, your correct audience is yet. You don't know what your correct creatives are. Like, ugh, there's so much goes into testing. Usually when we start a new client, we say the first month is testing, is dedicated to but, testing. Yeah, it's just testing. Yeah, we Six. don't. 
Yes, exactly. We we and might be able to start. Get, yeah, people get like, oh, you know, I'm spending money on something on it, but yeah, you know, but you have to think long term on this. You have to. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's stressful. We get it. We know it's stressful. Uh, as you're doing your own ads, as you're having someone else do your ads, even if it's not us, whatever, whoever's doing your ads, or wh- if it's you or someone else, the biggest name of the, like the biggest tool in the game is patience. It literally is. It's, it, you don't know if you don't know something until you've tested and you've given yourself time. Like it's just, it just is. It sucks. <laughs> don't we have a video on patience? <laughs> <laughs> We most likely do. And if we don't, we should (laughs) write it down, Mandy. Just kidding. So like, let's just end that with, with don't put so much pressure on your ads. Uh, Put more pressure on your craft, right? Most of your money comes from your books. Uh, If you're an author, that's what you're here for is you're making money with your books. If your books aren't good, you're not going to make money. I think that's fair to say, right? So uh, if you're not ready and you don't know if you're ready, we have a free challenge, the seven day challenge on is your book ready to be marketed? And we highly recommend you take it because it's literally the steps that we put a lot of our clients through or potential clients. We like, don't take everybody. So if someone's not ready for our services, we actually say, hey, we want you to go through this challenge. We want you to make sure that your stuff's ready before we even see it. We're still gonna end up making tweaks. Mandy and I are the type who are more of an ad, cons- like ad managers and consultants than we are just managing ads um, because we really do invest. And so, and this is not, this is not like a commercial for what we do. I'm just saying when, when you're working with someone who's trying to sell your stuff, you need to make sure that your blurb is pretty, your landing page is ready, your covers are ready. And we want you to make sure that that's in place. So go sign up for our, it's free. It's a seven day challenge, just just free. Just And we're not trying to sell anything to you afterwards. It's literally just to, are your books and stuff ready to be bought, to, ready to be sold, ready to be marketed? Because if not, you're just blowing money. And, yeah, then you just need to work on it. It's not a big deal. It's just another step. You work yeah. on it and then you prepare yourself. Yeah, because you'll exactly. save a lot of money in the, in the long run. So yes. Because you don't want to come to us later, come to someone else. A lot of people, a lot of people do the ad consulting and the, you know, the ad marketing teaching and stuff. A lot of people do it and they know, so they can look at your stuff. We could look at your stuff and say, your ads aren't working because your crap's not ready. Yeah. It's just not ready. It's not ready. And that's okay. Everybody's learning. It doesn't matter where you're at. If you've been doing this for 30 years, you've been doing this for one year, everybody's learning. So just make sure that you're ready for the market. And uh, yeah. And the biggest thing though, what do we always say here, Mandy? Make sure you have a goal. Make sure that you're sticking to your brand. And make sure you're having fun. Because like it Bobby is. And I. <laughs> yeah, right? We're always having fun. It's so much fun. But fun doesn't mean you're not stressed. So we just really hope that these tips are helping you. Uh, we really want to make sure that you are succeeding. And we're trying to help you out by giving those tips that a lot of people just aren't hearing right now. So share share these things with friends. Share the link. Um, hit like and subscribe. The reason we want you to share with friends is because success. I think, I think it's funner. It's better. It's all the things when you succeed with other people. So you can be growing together and learning together. And I think that's super important. So anyways, that's my (laughs) inspirational thing for the day. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right, guys, check out our free Facebook group and the links are all down below and we will see you next Monday.